Mrs. Spitzer's Garden by Edith Patu Illustrated by Tricia Tessa Mrs. Spitzer is a teacher. She is in room 108 of Tremont Elementary School. Inside room 108 are six tables, four circles and two rectangles. There is a rug in one corner with real hopscotch squares and checkerboards woven in bright colors. There is also a size chart, a birthday chart, a gerbil in a cage, a housekeeping and dress up corner, a row of 22 pegs for coats and backpacks, and in another corner, Mrs. Spitzer's desk. At the end of summer, Mr. Merrick, the principal, walks down the hall to Mrs. Spitzer's room and gives her a packet of seeds. Mrs. Spitzer consults her calendar and plans her daily schedule. She checks her tools. She makes sure the soil is right, light and well-drained, with plenty of room for sprouting. Then, Mrs. Spitzer plants the seeds. She waters them, feeds them, and makes sure they get plenty of sun. The seeds begin to sprout. As the plants grow, Mrs. Spitzer watches them closely. She checks daily for weeds and pests. She knows that different plants need different things and that each plant has its own shape. Some of the plants grow quickly, pushing upward, eager, impatient. Some grow more slowly, unfolding themselves bit by bit. Some plants sprout thin and tall. Some are bushy and wide-spreading. Some are bold, showy. They're brightly colored, saying, Look at me! Some are silvery and quiet, the color of the earth. A few are like wildflowers and will grow anywhere you put them. And some need gentle care, a special watching over. As the seasons change, Mrs. Spitzer tends her garden. And then the year is over and her job is done. But the plants will keep growing, uncurling their stems, stretching their leaves outward and showing their faces to the sun. Mrs. Spitzer puts away her tools, her daily calendar and her plan book. Soon another year will start, and Mr. Merrick will once again walk down the hall with a packet of seeds for Mrs. Spencer. She will dust off her tools, till the soil, and a new garden will begin. <laughs>